Thank you very much. Caroline Simons from Libertas. The question was, can Europe lead the battle against climate change? And the answer is a definite yes. You only have to look at America. We're always leading the way. Um, go back to Cairo, see the resistance that you get consistently in America to the standards that we would like to set, because their foremost concern is dealing with business and keeping business profitable. Um, as has been said, look at other countries who are not yet in a position to uh, consider, as we can, the, the, the cost of being more environmentally friendly, the, you know, the, de the developing um, countries like India, where they're beginning to deal with climate change, but finding it very difficult to do so. Uh, the European Union has been leading the way for some time. Even as recently as last month, you saw the, the uh, legislation in relation to reduction of CO2 emissions by 20% by 2020 from cars and, and from new fuels. And we also saw last week that the Parliament had approved almost 4 billion for energy projects. So Europe is serious about climate change. It needs to be serious about climate change. And I hope it will continue to be you know, the leader that because there's nobody else leading the way. It's not perfect. It never goes quite as far as I'm sure all of you and I would like. But at least we're setting the standards and it's a good start. And I hope that the people who will be going to Copenhagen when they fly into that beautiful city will be very impressed by the necklace of wind, windmills that they see on the way in because this country is very particularly um, in a position to benefit from wind energy. And we could be creating an awful lot of employment from energies like that in the future.